dab da da dee da da Magic tree. Holidays. Holidays. <laughs> we're in County D Tyrone. County, County Tyrone. County Tyrone, um, and we're heading to Spare and View Glamping for two nights. We're going glamping in November. It's a bit, no, these are like fully heated, fully functioning. It has a TV, microwave. It's like you might as well be in a hotel. It's just you've got it's just a cabin. It's just a cabin. Yeah. But glamping in November, so we're gonna find out if glamping in November is fun. And I thought this would be the perfect time for a real world vlogging test of the DJI Action 2, which you're watching us from now. And this is delightfully wide angle. Look, make me look fat. Um, da 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 Stuck behind a tractor. Please get out of the way. It's the Excel 565. Not the name of the tractor. I don't know what the tractors were named after spreadsheets. <laughs> I think that might be the name of the more attachment. See you later! Magnetic trips. I'll come back for you later. We're here. Go check in. I think people saw me doing that. <laughs> Gonna do something really st stupid. Uh, make sure you close the windows. This is where we're staying. Oh, sorry, there was another flight. That <laughs> there's another. Yes, there's two stories. Sorry, there was another flight. What's in here? It's a bathroom. I'm gonna take a poo in there. Go upstairs. There's a, there's two levels. So funny story. I was supposed to have been involved with the tourist board back in 2020 promoting this place, and this job was the first job that got cancelled. I was supposed to come here with a whole group of people. Um, I, I was the videographer to fill up and capture the whole thing. We're gonna show the whole place off. It never happened. It's always been on my radar to come back here because these glamping pods are pretty special, and we're right near the Dava Dark Sky Center as well which is perfect for like astrophotography and stuff like that and possibly walks in the dark with Louise, but look at this. So this is a curtain, so actually yes. we're not... Like, yeah, so you can that close thing. it over. Yeah, we went glamping somewhere else recently and you couldn't close the curtain. There wasn't a curtain. There was no curtain. You just were given an eye mask on so, so you go into the back room to get dressed. Yeah, yeah, there you were in your underpants and everybody could see you. So guys, look where we're staying! Oh, I feel like this might be risky. Go on out. Up. Yeah, it's a really good job. This is a really wide angle lens. Oh, my not, bum! No, not wide angle lens because of your bum. I mean, because. Well, we can always sleep in here and watch TV down there. Yeah. This is so cool. Careful! Oh. Look, there's a teeny tiny window at this end. Is this open? No. Oh. I was going to stick my head out here. Oh, I think I can disable the security features. <laughs> oh, look at that. So much geometricity. 
Ugh, I think I can jump from up here to down there. Well, I wish you'd take your shoes off in here because the floor is bad. Ooh, there's your neighbors. Hi, neighbors. I think we might have got the one with the best view. So, this part of Northern Ireland is the darkest part, as in the least light. And just over that way is Dalvin Forest and the dark sky center. There's observatory. There's also this like area where it's all set up for observing the sky at night. Apparently this is the best place in the entire country to do it. Just over there is Baymore, Baymore stone circles, cairns, and it's like this ancient Neolithic pile of rocks. Um, but they've now recently opened this, which is the OM Solar Surge, which this did not exist last time I was here. There's a path that goes all the way from here into Dava. And there's all kinds of fun things to see. There's a viewpoint, there's Neptune and Pluto, there's another viewpoint, and at some point you get to see Uranus. Um, <laughs> oh, look at it here. <laughs> it's clearly marked on the map. And then um, on past Uranus is Saturn, Jupiter, and then eventually it brings us into the... Oh, they've spaced out. Ah, so they've they've so that's how far yes. They are from the sun. So the actual dark sky center is the sun, and then you move out, you get Mercury, Venus, Mars, Mars, Jupiter, Ars, Saturn. Mars, Mars. You can't even say the words. <laughs> you're, Ars, you're, you're, you're Venus, viewpoint Neptune and Pluto. So um, viewpoint puts one of those hidden planets that we've discovered recently. <laughs> one of those hidden planets. The planet viewpoint. The, the planet viewpoint. Yeah. So come back. Uh, so we're starting this walk exactly at sunset so it's gonna be very dark in fact it already is well, quite dark you your head with you. yes i brought a head torch so this is gonna be a good test of the low light in this so first viewpoint uh first next thing is the viewpoint and after that is uranus oh louise yes. there's a board louise loves boardwalks there's a boardwalk there you go <laughs> What is it you love so much about a boardwalk? I like walk? the sound. Now, to be completely honest with you, I prefer them to be a lighter wood than this. this yeah, this looks like so much like... Those aren't wood, that's plastic. Well, they, you see, I thought the sound maybe. wasn't quite as good. Well, maybe it's recycled plastic, so we're saving the whales, but... Yeah, it doesn't sound like wooden. It's not wooden boardwalk. Are you going to well, forgive them for that? Yeah. I, I just like that you're not having to watch where you put your feet, you know, in mud. Because it's bored. Yeah. Well, I think this whole area up here from the looks of it is like blanket bog. So your alternatives are to destroy the blanket bog or put in a boardwalk. This is fun. <laughs> you are now entering the toilet zone, which apparently is Neptune. Did you know that it takes Neptune uh, 165 Earth years to orbit the Sun just once? So since its discovery in 1846, it has only completed one full orbit. Lazy. Lazy is what I call it. I do feel sorry for Pluto. When I was when I was in school, Pluto was a planet. And then it got degraded to, uh, what is it like? It's like a sad planet now or something. Declassified. Declassified as a planet. Too small. Pluto for me will always be a planet. Comment below if you agree. Hashtag justice for Pluto. <laughs> justice for Pluto. I stand with Pluto. <laughs> Here's some wooden boards. There you go. How's that? Yeah, good side. <laughs> so guessing that the plastic boardwalk probably will last for longer. It's not going to rot the way wood rots. So clever. Ooh. Knolls and knives. It sounds like a shop that might sell. Sort of drumlin. Okay, so drumlin is a type of hill. That's a, oh, like an oval hill, a glacial over glacial oval shaped hill. I'd like to make a comment, mm. please. Hi, drumlins. What? What's your comment? I would like to congratulate Mid Ulster Council for a nicely grammatically correct and well spelled sign because they haven't made the typical mistakes of putting apostrophes where you don't need them. You know, theirs leads an apostrophe, so that's good. It's doesn't, and they haven't put it in. It is rare to find such an accurate piece of signage. Congrats. Louise is a big fan of appropriate grammar and spelling yeah. and pronunciation. If I see an apostrophe where it's not required, or I don't see one where it is required, it makes me sad inside. Yeah, I, I feel nothing. 
Just to give you an idea of how dark it is, the moon has just peeked through the clouds. I mean, it's not dark. And then gone. It is dark. It's not like dark, dark, but it is dark. I would call it dusk. Dusk. Oh, well, yeah. I mean, the sun is gone. The sun set 20 minutes ago. This is now blue hour. The sky and the light and everything around is blue. Although, depending on the white balance. Louise, I can see your anus. I can, I can see your anus. Look, here it is. Oh, your anus likes to do things differently. I'll say. There we go. There is. What's this code? What's the QR code for? I think you can scan your anus and then it will wow. <laughs> give you more information about it. Let's see. You can scan your anus. Oh, let's give me an email address. Why would I want to email your anus? Well, you know the joke of people, people's bums being so big they have their own postcode? This one has its own email address. <laughs> <laughs> Uranus is about halfway to the dark sky center, which is all the way in the forest that way. See, it's quarter to five. We'll go back. Yeah. I'll return and run this. <laughs> run away from Uranus! Got the head torch out. I mean, you can still see without the head torch, but I just want to show you what this is like. In the dark, without without any additional lighting, with additional lighting. Oh, you're glowing! That could be the full moon is out tonight. The wild hound that hunts these lands is out on the bog, seeking those out here after dusk. Oh, the, truth. the hound is coming. Right, okay, the only way to survive the hound is to outrun you. No. Bye! <laughs> Back at the car. There's not a lot of light. Right, is it dark now? Dark. Can you admit it's dark now? It's dark. Okay, it's dark now. Look, look, look at us. Ooh. Make some shapes. Oh, wait, we can make a heart to signify our love. We can make a marshmallow to signify our greed. It looks like a skull. It looks like a skull. Like a sc <laughs> uh, this is kind of cool. Look. All the outdoor lighting here is red because red lighting doesn't wreck your night vision, which means if you're really into like watching the stars and astrophotography and stuff, you don't lose your night vision and the red light won't mess with your photography. This is our towel, and this is your, our towel. Oh. You can use that in the morning if you want. Well, I'm dry my bum with that one. Yeah. Ah, that's important. Time to go. Wait a minute, I haven't got my shoes on. Where are we going? I'm hungry. Food. Ah, uh, you're going right here. Right. I'm the king navigator. I'm great at left and right. Oh, there is a rabbit in front of our car. Right, go away, you maniac. I think that was a leveret. Where'd you want to start? I always want to start her. Okay. Although, not always. Mm. This looks like I'm having a bowl of diarrhea. Tasty diarrhea. Vegetables, healthy. Considering how the evening started, that was excellent. By any account, to be honest, I, I, it was a lovely meal. <laughs> and a very nice hotel. Yeah, the first place we drove to, uh, bar restaurant, there was no food. No. No food. Food was off. They'd taken the food in. We walked in, and I knew instantly, we're not going to eat any food here. The man behind the bar, I staff, was smoking a pipe at the bar. <laughs> and. Not. We definitely do not belong there. 
Whatever. This was a very classy establishment. I did not belong here. <laughs> <laughs> Louise is not entirely amused about me leaving a smiley face for the staff to find with the remnants of my I cheese board. Tell. I saw the waitress lifting it and I can't tell. She, she looked at it. She looked at I it. I can't tell if she was smiling because she's wearing a mask. So at the end of this road, you're going to go that, that left. That left as opposed to the other left. Yeah, the, the, the left. The goes, more traditional the of the left. I left. Not, yes, that, that way. That left. That left. One observation about this little camera so far is that I'm probably using it more. Are you talking to me? No, I'm talking to the people. I'm probably using it more in circumstances where I probably wouldn't use a GoPro because it's so, so tiny. It's a lot more inconspicuous. You don't feel as stupid vlogging with it. Like, whenever you have a clip to your chest, you're pretty conspicuous. I am Iron Man. But yeah. Nothing quite like going shopping while you're meant to be on a sort of a holiday. Soup. 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 Oh no. Do you want this soup? Okay. Just having to add some washer fluid to the car. are dressed like you're going to the Arctic. <laughs> Ooh. This is an overheating test. Is that okay? <laughs> it's very hot already. Mm -hmm. marshmallow. Oh. back from a run and I realised that I meant to shoot some stuff in the action too while I was on the run and I forgot so here's a couple of shots for the GoPro we will give you a bit of a comparison. I think I'm trying to make a vlog of this trip. I'm making a vlog of this trip on the DJI Action 2 camera. So if you're interested in that camera you can check out the vlog of this which will hopefully come out soon enough. There you go. Ready to go? Let's go. The car keys, the car key. What? Oh. Oh, 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 oh. Dark place. Where are we going? Dark Skies Observatory. Is that where we're going? Uh huh. Right. <laughs> here we go. It's kind of creepy coming in here at night. It's a tree. It's a tree. Tree. It's a tree. Ooh. It's kind of spooky. Mm -hmm. Driving down in. It's like you're driving. Have you should put your full beam on. I have the full beam on. Oh, you do? Wow. I do, yeah. I told you it's the darkest place in the world. <laughs> it's not Jaws. So last night we dined out at a hotel restaurant. Spared no expense. Today we're eating 
We're eating some sandwiches in the car. Yes, but can I point out they are Marks and Spencer's Christmas sandwiches? It's not just any Christmas sandwich. No. It's quality. Oh. Oh. You might remember an earlier video where we were out and I tried to explain to Louise all you actually needed to eat really was a boiled egg. Well, Louise denied that. Fought against it. Do you wanna know what's happened tonight? Having a boiled egg. However, I did also- Hypocrite. I had some cookies first. So. But all you actually needed. The boiled egg. Yeah. Off we go. But now, approaching the um dark sky park and observatory for our fun tour inside the building and then a presentation outside projected down the side. I think um the OM is the side of the universe mix, although we should probably ask that big one. Much darker now. Much darkness. Well, did you enjoy the light show? Yes. My bomb was damp. <laughs> but I didn't wet myself with excitement or anything, it was just that we were staying on coal stones. Right, go back and get the fire on. Mm. <sighs> so, does it lie here? I can just gaze up at the stars. You're talking to me? Uh, except the problem is there are no stars tonight on account of the clouds, but normally there would be stars. No stars today. Just me, fans, in my pajamas. Nobody wants to see you in your pajamas. Mm, <laughs> <laughs> uh, good morning. Goodbye. Time to go. Goodbye, tiny Scandinavian-esque wooden hut thing. <coughs> I'll just, uh, I'll just carry your suitcase then. He's come across the stones before, but they've paid our dues. <laughs> holidays, holidays, holidays over. We're going home. Um. We had yeah, fun, fun times were had by all. So, uh, what was this video about again? Oh yes, yeah, a test of this camera. <laughs> Comment below uh, what you thought of the possibilities of this action too for the making this kind of video. My my feelings, having used it now for two days, just for this kind of casual vlog type content, is that I actually really love using it for this because it's just so tiny, it's just so small, it's just so easy to bring anywhere with you. It's genuinely pocketable, unlike a GoPro, which is much chunkier. And you just have this tiny little square, you bring it out, you hit record, you record what you need to put it back in your pocket. It doesn't matter that you can only get 30 minutes on the, the little camera itself, because then you just reconnect it to the base unit, transfer the footage across when you're not using it, and then grab and go again. So it's been really, really useful for this kind of vlogging. It's good to wait until you get the actual footage and put it into it. 
person. You're not the one who's seen this actual film. I'm talking about just using it. Oh. What if it makes a disastrous film? Well, it won't because I've got editing skills. And polish a turd. You actually can. Mythbusters <laughs> literally have an episode <laughs> on that. So for really like casual blogging, quick shots so far, oh. I've quite enjoyed using it. Um, although there is another option on the market, there is the Insta360 Go 2, which is significantly cheaper. I think it's like what, 150, 200 pounds cheaper, maybe. The video quality isn't as good, but it's even smaller than this camera, and it's more versatile in some other ways, because you can export your videos as vertical and horizontal. Like waffles. Like what? Waffly versatile. But one thing you have to do with it is you have to export the clips through the app, sort of an app individually before you can you can work with them. But if you're just making like something really casual and fun, that might actually be a better choice than the action two because it's so much cheaper. Although the video quality is not as good. This stuff's complicated. This stuff's complicated. Future video coming up, comparing and telling you which one I think you possibly should buy, but maybe not, but depending on your own. Anyway, thanks for watching. Uh, bye bye. Bye. Nice bread. Nice bread, right? Can you say Star Take Care. Oh, I love it. Our Take Care. All right, can you say the end things that? Hit the bell to subscribe, like, and share, and tell all your friends about it.